guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna apologize for the lighting straight away because it's one of those weird winter days where the sun just keeps going in and out of the clouds and I go dark and light and dark and light. So I've re like filmed the intro to this about four times with the sun like it's coming out again doing really funny things but I'm like we're just gonna have to go with it so anyway this is my first festive video of the season probably my first and only there might be a Christmas home tour but that's it because I've just had no time this year I've not even been able to stick to my normal sort of uploading schedule anyway because eh, work solo parenting just is just kicking my bum to be honest so I did vlog this last year and I have no idea how I managed it to be honest but yeah so apologies but this is going to be a Christmas Q&A I put a shout out on Instagram for some Christmas questions because I was feeling a little bit festive and got a whole bunch of questions so we will start from the bottom and crack on so the first one is what do you tell the kids about Santa real or not 100% real I still believe in Santa we got told by my parents if we didn't believe in him then that was the end of the Santa sacks, that was the end of just all these little traditions. So yeah, me and my brother still believe Santa's definitely real. Uh, next one is, do you wrap stocking fillers? Yes, unless they're food. Yes, it's like little presents and that definitely, and um, books and things like that, but not food, not like chocolate or anything else that's in there. Any specific family traditions? I did a video on this, I think for Vlogmas last year, so I'll pop the link below, but um, just off the top of my head, we've got loads. We always go to the midnight mass service at the church at the bottom of our road, which is lovely. And I noticed this year for the first year, they're serving mulled wine, which is very exciting. Um, what else? We just, our, our whole Christmas day is very like, it's been the same since I was teeny. Like we get up, we have a brunch, the kids, so like us cook the brunch. Um, we have Buck's Fears, we open one present and do like the Santa things before breakfast. Then we do breakfast, then we, I'll go and get ready we drag it out like we're not a crack on and get all your presents open straight away kind of family we definitely drag it out do our presents after like brunch lunch thing after we're ready then we all start cooking we all help like everybody has like a job my brother always makes truffles like there's little things we all do every year i make the soup leek and still beautiful and um yeah it's great so many traditions and obviously putting like the usual ones putting the stuff up for santa the night before and for my like specific little family so me rob and the kids um, it's funny because we always go to my parents so it's just the same traditions we've always done but we've tried to add in a few of our own like we have little matching jammies and we do like a little photo and we do a Christmas Eve sort of little not a full-blown box just a little Christmas Eve thing for the kids like a book a little pair of pajamas a little treat and a tiny little toy and that's it usually um, but yeah in terms of traditions before Christmas we go to the Christmas tree ceremony at our church here we try and do at least one santa visit even though the kids don't like santa um we go to a carol service we watch the lights get turned on so just the usual things next one how long are you in scotland for this christmas just under two weeks very excited next question what's your favorite thing about christmas being with my family <laughs> like this immediate family so me rob and the kids even though rob's not here this year but being with my family so my mom and dad and my brothers Oh, favourite Christmas movie. That's a hard one. I really like the new Netflix one. I don't know if anyone else has seen it. Um, the Christmas Chronicles. It's really good. I think it's going to be like a classic. But I also love the Polar Express. I love all the Santa Clauses. Um, Miracle on 34th Street. Elf. Yeah, they're probably all my favourites. Next question. Do you find Christmas is completely different with Rob being away? And then I can't see the rest of this um, question. I don't know if they cut them off. I've tried to sort of see if I can see all of it. There's probably a way, but I haven't figured out how to do it. Uh, it says, is there any special things you do for him and, and then I can't see the rest. So yeah, it is completely different when he's not there. It's a different dynamic, obviously. And it's just sad. It's really sad. It's also sad to think that he's just, he's not by himself, obviously. He's with a whole crew of people, but it's just really different, really different. And they're at sea this year, so it's not even, there'll be no FaceTime or anything. We'll probably get one phone call, hopefully. If not, it'll just be an email. <laughs> how sad is that um is there anything special we do we do like a little christmas message for him for when they are sort of near a wi-fi place and we also box up his presents and send them out with the forces post uh next one that's another traditions one kind of already answered that will you have a christmas day when robert's back yes i think so hopefully he's missing his birthday as well so we'll probably do his birthday too oh someone said hope you have an amazing christmas not a question just want to say thank you charlie bird 87 uh, next one what's your favorite thing about the Christmas season just feeling warm and fuzzy inside like I'm a sucker for Christmas I love Christmas I've always loved Christmas but I love the build-up to it I love 
just everyone getting their lights out. Our street's really good for like decorating and everything. I love putting the tree up. I love getting all the decorations out. And I just love how everyone is at this time of year. I just love the like, the spirit of it all. That's my favorite thing. Um, blah, blah, blah. What's number one on the top of your list that you want? I don't really know this year, to be honest. Um, I've been being like asked by Rob, my mum and dad and brothers and that for like a couple weeks and I'm just not very sure. I've not really had time to think about it. There is like, um, <laughs> so sad. There's a coffee table or um, a chest of drawers from West Ham, very expensive, that I really, really want for the house. So I guess like money towards that would be great. Or a Gucci handbag. Those are very expensive things, but anything from Lush, love anything from Lush. Uh, makeup, love makeup. Oh, and there's a couple jewelry browns I really love. Um, Masoma and is it Ember, something like that. And there's lots of lovely pieces on there. Next one, what's in the kids' stockings? So I'm really, really unorganized this year. Um, I've Because I have to order everything to go up to my parents, I keep ordering stuff and I forget what I've actually ordered. So we can go on my Amazon and have a look because I think that's where most of it's come from. But I've got them some, so they've got their Santa present each, which, um, Isla just wanted a blue racing car, so she's got a blue racing car, and Lachlan's getting some dinosaurs. And then, um, where's my count? So in terms of, like, stocking fillers, I'm just having a look here. I got Isla, like, a couple little LOL things. Um, Lachlan, some little Thomas trains, because he loves Thomas the Tank. Got them a game each, so got Isla, uh, Snap. Like, it's, uh, one of those, what are they called? Mm. Orchid, or, I can't speak. Orchid, to orchid? That's really hard to say. Orchid toys like crocodile snap game thing. And then for last time I got them a little bath game, so it's a little net with little fishes. Then I got them two slinkies, because who doesn't love a slinky? They've got various little like sort of chocolatey treats, got to the tangerine. And um, what's I get to say? Oh, teeny tiny mini snow globes that I found in the card factory, because Isla loves a snow globe. And, oh, and a book each. And that's pretty much their stockings. Uh, where will you spend Christmas? Oh, these are these are literally like I've got one, two, three, four, five people asking where we're at Christmas. We're at my mum and dad's in Aberdeen. Yay! Uh, how much do you spend on the kids, and what will you tell who who, the, who will you tell they're from? So what we do is just what my parents did with us is that you get one main Santa present, and that's from Santa, but it's not like a big like games console or anything like that. It's just like trying to think of things I've asked for in the past. Like it was, uh, like say if it was we had Nintendo 64, it'd be a Nintendo 64 game or uh, a Barbie thing or a Polly Pocket or whatever I was into. It was just like a, a, usually a toy that we were after. And then the main big present came from mum and dad's, so my mum and dad's. So that's what we do now because I mean, everybody each to their own. I know everyone does everything completely different, but I would just hate the thought of Isla going into school and being like, oh, Santa got me a computer an ipad or whatever and then another child got a book or something you know i just i think santa to me isn't the big one santa's like the token one and then the parents are the big one which we work hard for <laughs> for our pennies so it's nice for maybe the kids to know that the bigger present's coming from you and not not santa so that's what we do in terms of how much um we spend i try not to go wild to be honest and actually i've been really trying to stick to that um poem there is out there that I can't remember off the top of my head where it's like something you need no something you want something you need something to wear something to read oh I remember quite a lot of it and then there's a couple other things so I've been trying to stick to that so I think this year I think in terms of their stockings I've spent about 30 quid on them each um the Santa presents I only wanted a, a blue racing car it's literally all she asked for so I've got her an eight pound one from Wilco or actually no I got her that one and then I spotted one in uh, John Lewis I think it was that's remote controlled so I bought that as well I think that was 20 pounds and I'm just trying to figure out which one I'm gonna give her I don't know I'm trying to gauge what she's expecting because the remote control one's actually a police car so I'm like mm. um yeah so and then Lachlan's dinosaur thing from Santa was yeah 18 pounds 20 pounds something like that so that's Santa and stockings in terms of what I've spent on them for like their main presence Lachlan's getting like a brio set because he's obsessed with trains so I've got him this metro set so that was it was on sale I think it was 35 40 pounds and then I've got him bits and bobs like other toys and a couple of bits of clothes a pair of jammies and books so I reckon we probably spend I'd say, I budget-wise, I would have set up to £100 each. Next one, how do you pack all the gifts without the kids seeing for going away? 
I, I don't, I literally, Amazon Prime or wh wherever I'm getting them from, they get delivered to my parents and I wrap them up there. And then what we're gonna do on the way back is box them all up and post them to ourselves because we're not gonna fit them in the case. <laughs> Usually we drive up and down, but then I'm, I'm flying this year, so it's just a bit of a different ball game. Next question. What traditions did you have growing up which you now do with your kids? Um, the, the Santa thing, the putting the, well, we, we do alcohol, which I think a lot of people were like, hmm, Santa just has milk. And I was like, in my house, Santa always had a whiskey or a beer or a gin or a wine. So <laughs> we kind of do that. We do that, although Isla's insisting he has milk as well. So he's having a milk and a drink, um, a mince pie. And then my mum usually has made like fudge or tablet or something like that. So that goes out. And then um, usually a carrot for Rudolph, but I've read this year that it's, it's a no-no with carrots now. You have to give them, like, reindeer can't actually have that, so you have to give them something else. I need to look into that. But yeah, that tradition that we all do, the going to church, the just the way the day is set up. Um, and yeah, I, I want to do, my parents used to, when we got a bit older, we'd have all our presents, do our presents, and then later in the day we'd get a joint present. Like, the three of us would get something that was for the three of us that we had to share. And that was like so much fun. And my dad would usually hide it or leave a clue or do something like that. So when the kids are a bit older, I'd love to start doing that. Just as a, just an extra little thing at the end of the day. We love dragging Christmas out. <laughs> Next one, is the religious aspect of Christmas important to you? Definitely, 100%. Um, how do you teach your kids about it? We go to church down here. We try to go, I try to go at least twice a month, um, which I've been doing recently. It's hard to go every single week with just, yeah, you know what kids are like. Luckily our church is really chilled and it's very kid orientated, the service we go to, which is great. So um, in terms of teaching them, that teaches them a lot. There was a whole like nativity thing in our last um, service we went to. And then they do, at one point in the service, they split off in, into age groups. So it's like preschool, school, and sort of older kids. And they do like activities with them there and they tell stories and they read like, um, passages that make them into like uh, they have like props and stuff so a lot of it comes from that rather than from me but for me we've got books at home we've got all the nativity stuff we've got the books they were given when they got baptized that we read through quite a lot like children's bibles and that so yeah that's kind of what we do next one what have you got everyone need inspiration I've kind of said a lot of what I've got in terms of Isla it's um yeah, she's, she's a bit of a tomboy. Joel dressing up as well. They've both got Spider-Man outfits. Um, she's got some LOL dolls. She's got racing cars. She's got some superhero stuff. Um, Sylvanian families. And then like clothes and books and things. Lachlan, yeah. Thomas loves Thomas. Brio. Um, and just little bits and bobs for him. Because they've got so much. It's hard to actually buy for Lachlan. Because he always just has what Isla used to play with. And Isla still plays with. They just share kind of everything we've got. Uh, oh, what's that early learning centre? Is it Happy Land? Happy Land, something like that. Um, I think they're getting a couple, I think Lachlan's getting a couple bits from there from one of my brothers. That would be lovely. And yeah, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. It's hard when I've not got it here to show you. It kind of doesn't spark my memory as well. But hopefully that helps a little bit. Next question. Do you budget for the kids or do you just go for it? Oh wait, I missed a question. Favourite part of Christmas dinner? Um, for me, it's the soup. That sounds really bad and big headed because I make the soup, but I love it. I love the soup. We do leek and still soup and it is lush. In terms of the actual Christmas dinner, I'm not a big like roast dinner fan anyway. So I'm more like all the sides and I'm not a gravy fan either. So there needs to be a cheese sauce in there. Pudding wise, I'm not a pudding person, but I love a cheese board and we always have a cheese board. Next one. Do you budget for what you spend on the kids or do you just go for it? Um, I kind of have the money, it's money from savings, I say I, we, <laughs> we, it's money from savings that we've got aside, maybe not specifically for Christmas, but it's savings and we, we do set a limit on what we're going to spend and I try not to go over it at all because it just, it doesn't need to be a massive excess, I don't, I, I don't feel, I know, again, like I said, everyone's different, it's hard not to offend people when you do things like this, but I just feel like my kids have got so much anyway. We also tr are trying to, this year, do like a little day out. We've asked for a day out from um, sort of some family members instead of actual toys or stuff. So yeah, we do budget, but not like strict budget and properly save in the run up. We just do things we already have. Next one, what's the best Christmas gift you ever received? I think it has to be one of those joint presents that I was talking about earlier. One year, me and my brothers, got a Nintendo 64 at like the end of the day on Christmas day and oh my goodness it was like the best thing 
ever. We absolutely loved it. We still got it. We still like often get it out to this day when we're back at home around Christmas time and play like Mario Kart or Zelda or Donkey Kong and stuff like that. That was definitely probably the best present I've ever got. And oh, let's be really soppy, shall we? Last year, no, not last year, two years ago when Rob was deployed, he came home five days before Christmas and that was really nice. That was that year. That was probably all we needed to be fair. So yeah, we'll go with that. Pretend to be soppy. Next one. What are you most excited about giving to the kids this year? I think for Isla, it'll be her Santa present because it's all she's talked about is this blue racing car. So that's not from me, it's from Santa, but I think she'll be very excited about that. So yeah, that, and I think Lachlan will be his train set because he just loves trains so much. Next one, do you like to buy a new outfit for Christmas day? I definitely do. I love a Christmas day outfit. I, I almost have like, three outfits. I've got the jammies in the morning, I've got the fancy sort of sequins or sparkly something or velvet for Christmas meal and sort of middle of the day and then I have like Christmas jumper for the end of the day. So not like always, it's usually the same Christmas jumper I've had for ages. I might wear this one this year. Um, but yeah, it's not like all completely new but yeah I do I do like a new outfit for lunch. Next one, will you have another Christmas day when Robert's home? I think so. I don't know if there'll be like loads of decorations up but we'll we'll do something. Um, who will be first up? Who will be up first on Christmas morning? I would say probably, I would usually say Isla but last year actually she wasn't so I'm not sure it might be me because I'll be excited and I'll want to like make sure everything's set up. <laughs> what is your Christmas day breakfast? We do a full-blown brunch. We do yeah, bacon, eggs, mushrooms, tomatoes, eggy bread. Eggy bread's like the best thing ever. Although I did last year we did, my mum keeps trying to change the traditions. I think last year she ended up doing like egg rolls or bacon rolls and we were like, oh, but usually it's a full blown brunch. Next one, will you not see Rob at all over Christmas? No, <laughs> he's not back till the end of January. Um, and he's actually, they go to sea on the 23rd of December, which seems really mean. Um, so they're not even like alongside where they've got phone connection and stuff, so a bit rubbish. Uh, pants for Christmas Day, kind of already done on that one. Do you like Christmas cake and pudding? I don't, I really don't. Not many people in my family like it, to be honest, but yeah, I think my nan and my dad like Christmas pudding, but the rest of us don't. <laughs> uh, do you, do any Christmas songs make you emotional? That's a really good question. Any carols, like I love a carol. Silent Night gets me every time. I'm like, oh, I love it, I absolutely love it, like, singing that at church as like midnight strikes. Oh, gets me, it makes me emotional thinking about it. Um, best Christmas memory. There's so many, like literally so many. I think from when I was younger, just every year, because a lot of the time it would just be the five of us because we were abroad, we weren't um, in the UK. There's so many memories of me in the Middle East when I was younger and like Christmas parties we went to with friends and stuff. I just oh, I love it, I love Christmas. And then I think favourite memories recently would be Rob coming home for Christmas after deployment. That was more tradition things, we've kind of already covered that. Christmas plans, done that. What's your favourite food or drink you only have at Christmas time? So those Cadbury Snowball chocolates, love them. You know the ones that are little balls that have icing sugar on them? Oh, they're really good. Uh, what else that I'd only have at Christmas? I'm trying to think of a drink. We often like have Prosecco but then with stuff in it. Mulled wine, I love mulled wine. I absolutely love mulled wine or mulled cider. So yeah, we'll go mulled wine and cider rather than Prosecco with stuff in it. Um, <laughs> we had this debate where it say Yorkshire puddings on a Christmas dinner, yay or nay? We don't, I don't think, do we? No, I don't think we do actually. Don't know why, there's no reason. <laughs> Gifts just from Santa or some from you as well. Uh, like I said before, it's just one present from Santa and the Santa sacks or sort of stocking things and then the rest are from us. Uh, what's the best thing about being back in Scotland for Christmas bar seeing your family? When it snows, <laughs> it hasn't for a while. Although did it last year, it kind of did last year. When it snows and how chilly it is, because down on the south coast of England, even now, a few days before Christmas, it doesn't feel very like Christmassy and cold. So we'll go with the weather. And getting to see extended family, although that kind of comes under family, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. That it. Yeah, great. Thank you so much for all your questions. If you asked a question, really hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave me a comment below telling me your favorite thing about Christmas. I just, I love hearing about other people's Christmases. I'm really nosy, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a really lovely Christmas if I don't, oh wait, no, I will put something up before this, but I'll say have a lovely Christmas anyway and a great 2019.